Hello and welcome. This is James Blanchard Cisneros at your service. Today I will be reading the April 3rd Facebook post and making a few comments on it, and I trust that it will assist both of us on our journeys. If the video is helpful to you, please be so kind as to like it, comment on it, share it. Thank you for that. <laughs> Here we go. Choosing to see the world through forgiving eyes. We are all one. The more we practice making the conscious choice to see this world through forgiving eyes, the more its eternal innocence will begin to radiate from everyone and all. Forgiveness is one of the many expressions of love, and it is only the love that created us that is truly real. Anything that is in opposition to love, and thus to forgiveness, is not real, and thus not a real aspect of ourselves. It is thus only when we are seeing this world through forgiving eyes that we are being an expression of our truest self, being that we are all one. It is when we make the conscious decision to see all others through forgiving eyes that we will begin to recognize that we too are worthy of being seen as forgiven by God. Today, we will make a very conscious and concerted effort to overlook every word someone says or action they take, where the ego would demand that we react with judgment instead of forgiving eyes. Overlooking another's illusions, what a small price to pay to have true peace and joy. Simply let go of every illusion that you have been programmed with that says that God's creations are somehow flawed. God being perfect can only create perfectly. It is only when we forget this that a lack of peace and joy result. Today we recognize that seeing this world through forgiving eyes becomes the doorway to true everlasting peace and joy. The door to peace and joy is always there and forever available to us. It is us who must in every moment decide if we desire to go through it or not. Today we're going to do something really fun. Something that I like to do. Uh, any time the ego mind, the program mind, has you judge yourself or others, has you anxious or stressed out, has you concerned, has you frustrated at someone else or even yourself, any time you're in a state other than peace and joy and love, we're going to forgive whoever we think is responsible for that. And we're going to forgive them immediately. We're going to practice doing this quicker and quicker throughout the day. And so, for example, if somebody makes you, if somebody makes you angry, immediately you're going to go, okay, my practice today is see, to see this world through forgi forgiving eyes. I forgive him, her, whoever. Or if you're angry at yourself, catch yourself, wait. Today, I want to see this world through forgiving eyes. Therefore, I will forgive myself. And so what we're doing is just overlooking the program ego mind. Overlooking all these ideas of errors and mistakes and sins and whatever. Whatever little illusions it has created and has programmed into us that says that something is more real than God's love. And so anytime we're out of alignment with God's love, we will immediately forgive whoever created that situation in our minds or even ourselves. So just practice quicker and quicker, catching yourself. Okay, I forgive them. And if that, if, if that forgiving them does not bring you peace and joy, then take, maybe take an, an extra step and say, okay, maybe say a little prayer for them within your mind and say, I'm choosing today to rem remember that I am God's creation. I am love's creation. And love expressions are peace and joy. 
Therefore, I deserve peace and joy. Therefore, I will forgive so I can once again align with peace and joy. I forgive my brother so that I may have peace and joy. I forgive my brother so that he also may have peace and joy, if he so chooses. And so immediately forgive, if that doesn't do it for you, and then say a little prayer for them. And do the opposite of what the ego wants you to do. If the ego wants you to judge and focus on the judgment and make that judgment bigger and bigger. We've gone through that so many times. That's a dead end road. We all know it. Let us put the ego program mind aside and do the opposite. Forgive. Offer them a little prayer. And say, I trust in God's plan. I put this moment in God's hands. I do that. And I receive peace. I put my illusions in God's hands and let them dissolve before His light, her light, source's light. And I achieve peace for that, for that simple choice. And what else but gratitude could you experience to God, to your brothers and sisters, to yourself? Imagine finding peace and joy in every moment simply because you have been given free will by God so you have the right to choose what you want to experience in every moment that's free will you can't choose to go ahead and keep on playing in the eagle's fairy tale and make that judgment, anger, resentment, jealousy, hatred bigger, bigger and bigger part of your life or you can't through free will let it go you already know where that takes you forgive, say a little prayer for them Find peace, find joy. Because peace and joy, you are worthy of peace and joy. Every time you forgive and say a prayer for them, what you're saying is that I am worthy of peace and joy. And thank you, Father, Mother, because you have gifted me free will so I can choose this. I can choose right now to have peace and joy instead of judgment and pain. And then thank your brothers and sisters because they are a part of a process that is helping you see that indeed you have a choice. That indeed the illusions of judgment, anger, frustration, stress, worry, anxiousness, <sighs> resentment, hate, that they're all not more real than love, than God, than peace and joy. You can choose peace and joy over the illusion anytime you want to. And little by little, thanks to your brother's participation in your life experience, you're seeing that, yes, you know what? I can't choose forgiveness over judgment. You know, I can't choose peace over pain. And each one of those brothers who's bringing you that judgment, that, pe that, that anger, that resentment, they're, they're helping you see that you can choose forgiveness instead over that, that you can value forgiveness more than the illusions. So put the illusions aside. And remember that you are worthy of peace and joy because you're God's creation. And because we're all one, so too is everybody else worthy of peace and joy. And so when you thank God for gifting you free will, when you thank your brothers and sisters for bringing these situations into your experience that help you see that the illusion is not more real than forgiveness and love, than peace and joy. Also thank yourself because you have come to a place in your exper life experience that you're saying, you know what? Wow, maybe, maybe this makes sense. Maybe what James is saying makes sense. His other vi videos don't make sense, but maybe this makes sense. <laughs> Let me try that. Let me try to put forgiveness ahead of every illusion that the ego has programmed me to believe is more real than love. And so no matter how much the ego, mind, so smart that mind, wants you to focus on that thing that they did, that you should be so angry about because they're wrong and you're right. And so let us focus on that because we're so brilliant. And let us make this a bigger, bigger part of our life. No. We have free will. Set it aside. We have already played that game so many times. Set it aside. And try something different. Forgive, align with your true nature, with the love that you truly are. And forgiveness is an, ex is an expression of that love. Peace and joy are an expression of that love. 
So offer that to your brothers and sisters so that you may have it yourself. Because we're all one. So when you offer it to them, you're telling yourself that yes, you too are worthy of that. Yes, I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy of being forgiven. I'm worthy of peace. I'm worthy of joy. Because in the moment I chose them over my illusion. I chose them over my ego's programming. And that is all we have to do today. Every time the ego tries to control our experience through judgment, anger, resentment, jealousy, hate, anxiousness, stress, a hundred different illusionary ways, let us immediately take those as triggers to come back to forgiveness, to come back to seeing this world through forgiving eyes, forgiving eyes. And then let us thank those solutions because they're triggering the memory in us and today we're going to see this world through forgiving eyes. We're going to see this world through forgiving eyes because we're going to align with God's source. We're going to align with love. Because, we're, we, because we are worthy of peace and joy. And so that's why, why we're doing this today. We forgive them and by doing so we remember that we are worthy of forgiveness. We forgive them, we forgive ourselves. And that's telling us we're worthy of peace and joy. Simply by aligning with your truest self, with your God, source, with love. And that through free will is always just a choice away. Free will always gives you the opportunity to find peace and joy. And that is always just a choice away. And today we practice that choice. We practice forgiveness. We practice seeing this world through forgiving eyes because we are all worthy of peace and joy. Thank you very much for your time. I love you very much. If you be so kind as to like, comment, or share this video, it would help with the listing process and it might help somebody find this information who can use it someday. If you'd like to leave me a comment or a question, I would be delighted to try and offer a response. And if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you in that community. Again, thank you so much for your time. I love you very much, and God willing, we'll see each other tomorrow. Peace.